Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, Spider-Man movies in 4K. Now, uh, this is probably, I have right here the, uh, the cheapest way to get them all in 4K, and that's to buy this collection, this collection, and you just kind of have to buy these ones separately, because while there is a Blu-ray collection of them, there's no 4K collection. So if you want them all in 4K, this is technically the best way to go about it uh so uh let me show you let's start with the raimi trilogy um so a nice artwork on the front spider-man venom green goblin sandman doc ock and of course spider-man in the center to focus toby mcguire Spider-Man Limited Edition Collection, Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man 3. There's a bit of a scratch right there. I don't remember if that was there when I got it, but it's a little annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. Spine, Spider-Man 3 Movie Collection. And a little description right there. And the 4K is just the movies. And the Blu-ray is the also has the ones with the bonus features, and uh, the the uh, Spider-Man 2 Blu-ray disc includes Spider-Man 2.1, which is an extended version of Spider-Man 2, well, with additional scenes and some alternate scenes, and the bonus disc includes Spider-Man 3 Editor's Cut, an all-new alternate version of the movie. For this, it's new for this collection at least. Also includes some other special features. Let's see if it has any run times. Not seeing them. All right, here we go. So Spider-Man is 121 minutes. Spider-Man 2 is 127 minutes. Spider-Man 3 is 139 minutes. So yeah, that's a pretty pretty long movies, but not that long. Now, uh, I can't remember exactly where the digital code was when I got it, but it was just stuck in here, and I already redeemed it, and it's not in here, so. You open it up, you get this picture, and then, after these set photos, it seems, um, in here, there's this, there's actually a little built-in booklet that shows you some stuff from the movies, like how they made it and stuff, sort of a thumb through that. It's kind of hard to thumb through it on camera. And now we got this picture of the scene from Spider-Man 2. And, uh, yeah, and then we finally get to the discs. Here's Spider-Man, the Blu-ray, and the disc. Now this is one of the minor nitpicks I have about this set. Hang on a second. Get it slightly round. Okay, so that artwork, well it's not an artwork, it's a still from the movie is not a still from Spider-Man 1, it's a still from Spider-Man 2, so it's kind of weird that they put it on the Spider-Man 1 disc, but it doesn't really affect the movie at all. And then here's Spider-Man in 4K, and there's the disc, which unfortunately the 4K discs are just blank black, it's not, not nothing really exciting. Spider-Man 2, and then the disc. I can't pull them all the way out because I only have so many hands, but there you go. And Spider-Man 2 in 4K, which, as you might have guessed, is a blank black disc like before.
And Spider-Man 3, my personal favorite of the trilogy, you don't have to agree with me. Spider-Man 3, that's what the disc looks like. And then for the 4K, the disc, and uh, wow, a real shocker, uh, the disc is just blank black, so uh, yeah. And then finally, we got the bonus disc, which is, that's the one that Spider-Man 3 editor's cut is on. I find it kind of weird that it's on the bonus disc and not the actual Spider-Man 3 disc. But, like, the Spider-Man 2.1 is on Spider-Man 2, but oh well. It's probably because the Blu-ray discs are just repackagings of old Blu-rays. We got artwork from, well not art, a still from Spider-Man 2. And that's it for the first collection. Now, we will move on to The Amazing Spider-Man. Two movie collection, 4K, Blu-ray and digital. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Garfield, The Amazing Spider-Man, limited edition collection. The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Nice picture of Spider-Man here. I actually thought that was a scratch at first, but apparently it's actually like, I think it's meant to be like that, a torn part of his suit or something. That right there. You got the lizard, new goblin, and Electro. The spine, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie collection. Description right there. Some stills, which the other one had too. Well, it had stills from their movies. 4K is just the movies, and uh, Blu-ray has some special features. Actually, has the uh, same the Stanley Legacy from Comic Book to Homecoming. That's the uh, same documentary that's included on the Raimi trilogy 4K. So yeah, and the uh, run times. 136 minutes for The Amazing Spider-Man and 141 minutes for The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Got a picture of Spider-Man. And then much like the, uh, well, first you gotta, first there's some set photos. And yeah. And then afterward, as you expect, because this is kind of the same as the other collection, you got a little built in booklet about the making of the movies. I read them, both of them, and I, I thought they were pretty neat. And uh, I don't think, yeah. Alright, so we've got The Amazing Spider-Man, and I really like this artwork. I mean, it's mostly CGI, so I guess it's kind of artwork. And then there's the Blu-ray. Try my best not to touch the uh, back of the discs. Don't want to get them smudged. 4K artwork, which, I'm going to be honest, these sets... Not only is the discs on the 4K kind of boring because they're all black, but the artwork is just not as great. I mean, the image that they choose, it's, it's just, it just feels like the Blu-ray ones are cooler. Well, except in this case, it's the one exception, because watch. Here's the Blu-ray artwork for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and there's the disc. But I think the 4K artwork is cool as it should be because you know you'd think they'd want to push 4k it was sort of a new format back when these came out and wow surprise surprise the 4k disc is all black 
And then finally we have the bonus disc. Right there. And then we've got this picture of Spider-Man. And that does it for that collection. Now I'll move on, now that we've done the Raimi trilogy and the Mark Webb duology, we'll do the MCU movies, which I have individually because there's no 4K collection. Here's Spider-Man Homecoming. It's got a five stars, best Spider-Man ever. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Avengers Tower, um, the description right there. 4K is obviously just the movie, like usual. The Blu-ray has some um, special features. Runtime, where's the runtime? Ah, there we go. Approximately 133 minutes. Alright, so after looking at the back of the digital code, I found out that I haven't redeemed it for something. Apparently you get free movies or something uh, besides the digital code. I've already redeemed it for the movie itself, but I don't want anybody getting anything out of my code, so took the code out. But anyways, as I was saying... Here's the 4K disc, right there, and uh, the best just got better, 4K Ultra HD, they got this on a bunch of 4K things, it's just explaining what the 4K is, like for these 4K Ultra HD movies, got some other ones. Even got the Amazing Spider-Man 2 on individual 4K, which is a collection. So. And uh, download the official app, access to Peter Parker's phone, augmented reality, suit explorer, and filters, stickers, and GIFs, and more exclusive content. I think they changed it to the Spider-Man No Way Home app. And uh, there's more inside, there's Bring Home More Spider-Man Adventures Today, there's the other collections that I just showed you, Spider-Man Homecoming Virtual Reality Experience, uh, available now for free, I haven't seen that, but I haven't tried that, but maybe it's good, some Regal crap, I don't really go to Regal, and uh, I guess that's add for some cookies. Yeah. And those are all the inserts besides the digital code. And there's the Blu-ray, which just has the same artwork, pretty much the same artwork as the 4K for some reason. Yeah. That's Spider-Man Homecoming. Now let's move on to Far From Home. And neither this or Far From Home came with its slip cover for some reason. I got them at Best Buy and they didn't have them. I don't know. They probably did have them at some point. Um, Spider-Man Far From Home. No end game for Spidey. He's flying higher than ever. Wildly entertaining. Oh, there's the description. Over an hour of special features, including an all-new short film, Peter's To-Do List. I've never actually seen that. Some other uh, stuff. And some other you know, special features. I took out the digital code, but... I'll show you the inside. There's the 4K disc. And there's the Blu-ray.
And then finally, the big one. Spider-Man No Way Home. Woohoo! Uh, this is the one with only at Walmart, the Walmart exclusive slipcover. Over 80 minutes of bonus content. No deleted scenes, unfortunately, but hey, let's just charge full price for another movie ticket so you can see those. Oof, that seems like what they're doing right now. The best Marvel movie of all time. That's a review for it. Oh, I forgot to show you the spines for the other ones. Hang on. There you go. Some nice artwork on there. And we have the spine on either side. The most exciting, surprising, and emotional Spidey of them all. Description. Um, and there's the bonus features, which once again, there's no deleted zines for some reason. Yeah, my slipcover is a little damaged. This was the only copy they had at Walmart when I got it. And wow, I really cannot read this on the camera, but yeah, uh, if it'll focus, uh, it's approximately... 148 minutes and now underneath the slip cover well what do you know it's the exact same crappy artwork that they used on the uh, other 4k releases um, it's not great but yeah it's better than nothing best Marvel movie of all time, just like the front. Spine is pretty much the same. Back is basically the same. A little few differences. And then on the inside, the 4K, and the Blu-ray. Yeah, that concludes all the uh, Spider-Man movies in 4K that I have. At least all the ones that uh, are in live action and where uh, Spider-Man isn't the main character. Well, is the main character. I mean, if you count the Venom movies and Morbius as Spider-Man movies, then I guess I don't have them all in 4K. But um, I'm just saying... Uh, and I don't, I don't have Into the Spider Verse in 4K, but I have all these in 4K, which all the live action movies about Spider Man, all the live action ones. I don't know why it took me so long to explain that. I'm sort of ranting here, but that concludes these collections. Now these two are out of print, I think, so. They might be harder to find. They replaced them with some not so great collections recently. They're, they're not so great from what I've heard, but if you can find these, I think they're worth it for a decent price. And uh, all these are fine. They're actually re-releasing this um, in theaters soon with more deleted scenes and stuff. I don't know why they couldn't put that on the 4K release, but if they do end up releasing that outside of theaters, uh, and they put it on a disc or like a new 4K release, I'm probably going to buy it because I'm an idiot like that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, and I will see you all later. Bye.